Well, it's safe to say that what's welcome news for Ukraine has been slammed hard by Russia. The Netherlands and Denmark have announced their decision to transfer F-16 jets to Ukraine. The Netherlands will be sending 42 of these U.S.-made fighter jets, while Denmark will be transferring 19 such jets. Russia has reacted to the news. Its ambassador to Denmark described the transfer as an escalation of the war. Vladimir Barbin said, quote, Denmark's actions and words seek to leave Ukraine no other choice but to continue its military confrontation with Russia. Such a stance is pushing Ukraine into the abyss and condemning its population to new victims. Ukrainian pilots have also begun their training on these jets long sought by Kyiv to counter Russia air superiority. But it will be long before they can use them in the battlefield. It would take at least six months and possibly longer to train engineers and mechanics. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky, meanwhile, is in Denmark, where he, along with the Danish prime minister, sat in the cockpit of an F-16 fighter jet during a trip to Skridstrap Air Base. The photo op came shortly after the Danish prime minister's F-16 transfer announcement. The Danish defense minister, meanwhile, Jacob Meanwhile, said that Ukraine may only use the donated F-16s within its own territory, further adding that these conditions apply to all donations, be it tanks or planes. Until recently, the U.S. and its allies had ruled out providing F-16s to Ukraine. They feared an escalation with nuclear-armed Russia. The F-16 jet is considered one of the world's most reliable fighter jets. The American Air Force says that it can fly at 1,500 miles per hour and can be armed with precision-guided missiles. Once equipped, the F-16's targeting capability will allow Ukraine to attack Russian forces in all weather conditions, even at night. At present, Ukraine is believed to have dozens of combat aircraft, mostly MiGs, they all date back to the Soviet era, leaving Ukraine badly outgunned by Russia in the air. Since the war began, Kyiv has been calling on its Western allies to help protect its skies from Russian aerial attacks.